whole touring schedule of last, you know, of the last hour and the last year was pretty full on. It was like, it was, you know, for us it was just pretty much get the get the album out, get the name of the band out a bit, um, and just yeah, just promote ourselves as best we could, you know, and doing what we do best, which is live shows. Um, in a sense, we really didn't get a lot of time to um, to write new songs, and I guess like with the last album, there was probably not as many new songs as we wanted to release. But we wanted to be in a position with this album where we had a bunch of songs to choose from. So it was really great to, uh, to get to a point where halfway through our writing, you know, four or so months into writing, we already had 12 songs. That we didn't, we didn't try and write a pop song or a rock song or a punk rock song or anything like that. We just did whatever came out and that's what happened really. Made us official. Yeah. We're on our way to Los Angeles. Album number two, baby. Like I said we had the demos. We kept working them and working them. Then we decided, well, we need a producer. We need someone to, to do the album. So we we're kind of thinking, who can we who can we get to do this? And we got contacted by Mark Hoppus from Blink 182. Who said he's really interested in producing the album. We're like, yeah, that's pretty cool. Circumstances came through, you know, whatever happened, he, he couldn't, you know, eventually come through with it all and um, kind of left us in the lurch. We, we didn't know where we were going to go really, we were thinking, you know, is it going to be an Australian producer, is it going to be an internet, we didn't know who. The label came to us and said, well, what about Mark Trombino? And we are like, yeah, of course, you know, um, is he going to do it? So we, we sent off demos and, and he got back to us and said he's pretty keen to do it and he was excited and we were excited. And, he said the only way we could do it was in LA, so we're like, even better, we can come to LA and do it and that'd be fun. He's just, I don't know, all the albums that he's done, um, well, we're huge fans, like a, a lot of the uh, the bigger records that we know of that he had done at that stage, so we were like, wow, that's pretty cool. Uh, one of my favourite albums that he's done is Jimmy Eat Well, Bleed American, and that's just the sound that he got on that is just amazing. He's done Jebediah, uh, more recently Living End, you know, bands that we know and love or even know personally and have you know said yeah he's a good bloke, he's great to work with. You know, did Dude Ranch, Blink 182 and Big Clarity, Jimmy Eat World, um, a whole bunch of other stuff that we really like as well. And yeah, just to just to be able to work with him is just it's great. Introducing like, you know, on one of the tracks here Cowboy, we had um like big it was just like a free-for-all, we had like triangles and, and, and um tambos and, and like cymbals and um, big bass drums and, and everything and we were playing together you know just this feel and we're getting like live takes for it and stuff and that was different. And I mean it's good because we, we're here and we're just focusing on the album we don't have any distractions really. There's a real sense of uh, purpose there you know if the record label believes in you that much and, and we back in ourselves and we've worked so hard over the last eight months to a year and writing and preparing the songs that we get the chance to go all the way to Los Angeles for nine weeks to record an album with a producer you respect and love. It's, it just raises the bar and as soon as you know we found out about all of that it just made all the hard work, the touring, the years of playing crap shows and all worthwhile. You're in a totally weird and kind of crazy place in LA and in Hollywood and stuff like that but um, the experience has been like one of the greatest experiences of my life. I think just as a whole, it's just it's a whole new adventure. It just doesn't feel like, it feel, really feels like an album, whereas the other one, the last album, felt like an album, but it just didn't, it didn't, fi when it finished, it was just like, oh, okay, you know, it left me with something, you know, missing, but this one, just the songs we've chosen, and just as I say, the attitude we've got, and we've taken, and just the whole aspect is really just round, so it really feels like it's a complete thing. No, 
know, I think there's a great vibe to it. I think the album still has a lot of energy to it. It really rocks and still very much us, but at the same time, I think there's been a major progression. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's exciting and it's going to be great to, you know, take, great for people to hear it, but uh, great to take it out on the road and play these songs live as well. Perth to, to LA to you know to shoot in a clip in the in the desert and to you know and just seeing seeing the place and being able to travel you know and knowing that the band's provided all this you know it's just it's it's pretty wacky you know. I suppose we're proud that you know an Australian band a Perth band you know. It's kind of done this as well. I suppose there's not many instances of that happening. You know, like I can't really name any. I'm not too sure, but it's, I know it's. You know, it doesn't happen every day. So when it does happen, you know, you just go. You, you feel proud more than anything. You just like, yeah, you know, this, is, this is good. It feels great. You know, and then you think, you know, where have we come from? You know, this is pretty weird. You know, like I'll mention to the boys. You know, wherever we are, you know, just go. You know, this doesn't feel right, does it? You know, really. You know, but you know, we know who we are, and we're looking around, just going, wow. You know. And, you kind of think people are staring at you, you know, you guys go, well, you know, that don't look right, but you know, it's just, that's how it is, because you just don't feel right sometimes, you know? But um, it's cool, it's really cool. It's just, that, as I said, it's another step, and it's, it's in the right direction, and everything's going great, so you, you, can't, you can't argue with that.